Friday we have the kickoff luncheon. Saturday we have uh, autograph session at 10 o'clock in the stadium underneath the grandstands. At 11.30 we have football one-on-one -on -one for women. And at night we've got the minors full blast in the stadium, Sun Bowl, 8 p.m. Uh, you know, we still have problems in second team center, obviously. So that's, uh, if we didn't, AC would play. Because um, he can snap and he does take care of the football better than the other backup centers. Is it? Um, I would say uh, number 11, uh, wide receiver, Malcolm Trail, is a guy that is playing better than anticipated. He's a gray shirt, played in the Springs, never played receiver before. He's a quarterback in a small high school, and so he's definitely doing well. I would say probably he looks to be the only true freshman. I think that's going to be a circumstantial situation. Who's number two? I try to bring both of them along, depending on the game, depending on the offense, and depending on the score of the game is. Right now, I'm just working on uh, Nick and, and uh, uh, backup center. Get Nick the reps and backup center the reps. Well, McCage will be our starting guard. Yeah. And if he has to be our backup center, then he has to be our backup center. But if he's going to be our backup center, he has to do a better job snapping the ball than he's doing right now. But the real problem is Kyle Brown. He's got to, he's got to improve his snapping. We, we're asking an awful lot of Kyle Brown. He played defense last year. He hasn't played center before. It's hard to play the game of football with your hands and your you're fanning. <laughs> He's going to be a really good player. And that's why we're sticking with him and having patience with him right now. But by next week, we're going to have to, uh, you know, we're going to have to cut bait. You know. James Robertson's doing really, really well. He's going to be, he's got a chance to start in Centillion and fighting for the offensive guard starting position. He was behind McCage, but he moved McCage. There's, JT is one of the guys involved in uh, Robinson. James Robinson has done a really, really good job. So, and we're force feeding it to him, and he's learning as fast as he can, but it's, uh, it's a confidence deal. James Martin is, uh, is backing up right now at tackle, and he's going to be a fine, fine player. Very good athlete. He's just learning the system, uh, but he's smart, he's coachable. Great attitude, and uh, we're excited about his future. Right now, he's behind Nelly and Craighead, you know. So, you know, we're we're all here because we have the physical talent. So, um, when it comes down to it, this level, you got to separate yourself by being mentally prepared. Um, and, and with the, with the reps getting cut and, and that kind of deal, you got to be mentally ready. And and so when you get in there, you're you're ahead of the game, a step ahead mentally. So, and then, then your physical talents can take over when you're ahead mentally. Every day you come out, you learn what you've learned in film, you learn what you've learned in practice, uh, in previous practices, and you keep going. Uh, you always got to be ready. Uh, been in this position before where backup's been called upon, and you know, just got to be ready. Stay focused and, and, and know your stuff and get ready. I think it's a competition still for number one. I mean, it's, you know, they've named a starter, but I mean, you've still got to push the starter. It's, it's like we've been talking about uh, this whole time in Sakur and everything. It's not the ones that, that win the conference title, it's the twos and three. So if we're pushing, you know, Nick to get better, we're getting better. And if who's there behind the two or the three or pushing the twos, then they're getting better. Well, you know, I've always been told that the backup quarterbacks are, is the most important position on the team because they got to know exactly what the starters thinking, they got to know what the coaches are thinking, and they also have to know what, what's going on uh, in the offense and, and what the opposing team's doing. So, you know, I think that being a backup quarterback, that's the most.